Well, hello there. Hello. My name is Tara Linhart, and I'm sitting here today with my guest, Trin Hamel. And we are doing our series on endangered languages, uh, and interesting languages of the world. And you are a native speaker of what language? Jokopa. All right. And where do most people who speak that language live? They are found in Joka, in Chimgong district of Bhutan. Uh, oh yes, and we are in Chimpu, Bhutan today. So uh, anyway, next question is, um, in your language, what would be a common greeting? Do people say hello or what, what, what do they say? In we don't have hello, but we use the national language greeting, which is called Kuzuzampo. So ah. we use that, Kuzuzampo. Okay, okay. Um, how do you say you? None. Okay, and then how would you say how are you? Nan hang shan laya. Ah, okay. Um, how do you say the word I? Jang. And how do you say I am fine? Jang ka Ah, okay. How about the word for name? Moon. And how about the word for what? Um, what? Let's see. Um, hang, I think. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it roughly translates, yeah. right? Hang. All right, so then how would you say what is your name? Nohe mung hangya. Ah, okay. How would I say my name is Tara? Johe mung Tara ai. Ah, interesting. Okay, so uh, how would you say the word for where? Oka. Oka. Okay, how do you say where are you going? Nan oga dinloya. Ah, okay, how about it? Okay. Here? Ta. It is here. Hmm. Okay. How about eat? Eat zale. How about please eat? So if you add please, um, or like command for yes, yeah, like light. Zai, takai zai, takai zasomo. To be more polite, zasomo. To be respectful. Hmm. It's always good to be respectful. Yeah. yeah. When in doubt. Uh, how about how do you say have you eaten? Nanto zaban mo. To be more polite, then I would say nanto jeban mo. Oh, okay. Um, how about full when you're full? Jang polang kaban. So what's just the word for full? Kaban. 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 Ah. So I am full. Jang polang kaban. Are you full? Nan polang kaban mo. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm just thinking how it's relating with, with Zonka and some other languages that I've heard. Um, how about, what are you doing? Nan hang an loya. Hmm. Uh, what have you been up to? Do you say something like that? Yes. Something similar would be, Nan hang an yi choban ya. When people say that like when they haven't seen you for a while? Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so how about how many? What's is there a word for how many? Yeah, we do. So we say eptur. Mm. Eptur. Eptur. How about how would you say how many people? Sungo eptur laya. What's the word for people? Sungo. Ah, oh, okay. Um, how old are you? Nan ngung eptur dibanya. Ah, interesting. All right, now. Let's count to ten, because that's always a fun thing to compare different sure. language families. So one, two, nineteen, sam, pi, na, kung, sum, yen, gu, si. So the interesting thing is our language, Jokopo, is a mix of Shasho and Kingpa. Oh. So it might be similar to people who speak Shasho. Yeah, and a few other times it seems similar to yeah. Zonka too. It has the different flavors of. It does. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool. Um, okay, is there a word for good? Uh, yeah. What would that be? Kachan. Okay, so how would you say it is good? Takai kachan la. Ah, okay. Is there a word for not good? Yeah. Or do you just negate good? I think we negate the good. Kachan oh. mala. Mala. Kachan ah, mala. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so you would say it is not good. Takai kachan mala. Ah, okay. Um, how about cold? Like if the, the tea is cold, like a liquid is cold or a um, food is cold? Liquid becoming cold, we'd say Changpo Rinmala. So just the word for cold? Changpo. Changpo. How about if the air and weather is cold? Is that the same word? I think so. It's and then if you are cold, same word? Kula. Yeah, a lot of them have different one for I am cold yes. or it is cold or it is cold. 
so interesting. Um, so how would you say, is there a word for hot? Yes, sobu. So if your food is hot, what is that hot? Jasobula, uh, the tea is hot. Ah, uh, uh, ja is tea. Ja is tea. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. And then I am, I am hot, like in summertime. Oh, I'm so hot. It's similar, so we'd say jang sopla. Sopla. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And hot outside? Sobula. Sobu, so tea is hot, sobu, the air is hot, sobu, I'm hot, jang sopla. You don't mm. add the boo when you are hot. Ah, right, cool. What are the words for mother and father? It's similar to shasho. It is ama, apa. Hmm, okay. How about sister? Is there an older sister, younger sister? Mm. Once or again, just... it's similar to shasho. It's Anna Usa. Anna is for sis, older sister. Usa is for younger sister. Okay. And how about brother? Ata. Older and younger? Ata. Okay. So the older one you'd say Ata. For the younger one you'd say uh, Juma. Hmm. Juma. Okay. Um, and now in your language, um, what are some ways that people might say goodbye or good leaving? I know some say good going, good staying, or stay well, or what is a, an average goodbye um, or two? So we don't mm -hmm. have goodbye, but we say see you again or see you later. We would say tinge um, rumena. What's the word for later? Tinge. Tinge. Uh, okay, and then do you have any other, other goodbye type things that you would say? Mm. No, I, I would That would be the one. Tinge rumena. Tinge rumena. All right, well, thank you so much. Um, it's been a real honor to have you here. And again, uh, one more time, uh, I'm Tara Linhart, and, uh, and please say your name and your language. My name is Singhamu, and I speak Jokapa. Thank you. Thank you so much.